Yeah, yeah, that's like, I mean... not just like master, that's like... <laughs> it just looks so smart. Were you playing One solo point too? Okay. Yeah, it was all solo. <laughs> yeah, so, um, how is everything, man? How's life? Uh, I'm good. No? <laughs> no complaints. No complaints. <laughs> you were no, the... No, no, no. You were the original inspiration for a lot of TF players, myself included, with the AD Twisted Fate. I believe one of the biggest reasons that you were uh, known, if I'm not mistaken, I think Midbeast did a thing with you. Am I wrong? Yeah, he did it. Um, obviously, there were like others who did like reviews and um, came to me for like um, advice how to play it and um, stuff like that. Yeah, also the, the uh... hybrid. Yeah. Obviously, it wasn't as uh, popular as the original Klepto thingy and obviously not as strong, but um, those are my creations. I got rank one with the Klepto setup. And also, I think I think um, finishing the season nine with like 80% um, win rate in challenger solo was like even bigger achievement in my opinion. Really? I mean, let's be real. Uh, how many people there are who have actually done it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you mean. I mean, initially, I didn't think that it was actually... <clears throat> I thought until you did that climb, I just assumed that the way Dopa was playing was just the only way to play TF. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, like I thought... I thought because of how strange the build was like it just didn't make any sense like i feel like i don't even know how you got to this to the ad build i mean for those who aren't really tracking <laughs> the old ad build was like it was klepto it was uh corrupting pots and basically you just heavy traded if i'm not mistaken you just heavy traded yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot like it was actually worth it to take like bad trades because you were like accumulating so much gold and getting their item spikes like like even if the trade was bad for me enemy would like still like um try to avoid it because they don't want to give me any gold you know mm. yeah i'm sorry i'm just fascinated by the uh <clears throat> the top lane jacks versus <laughs> yeah i think i almost solo killed him here as well i was yeah. so ready to flash but <laughs> Yeah, the, um, <clears throat> the big thing with me was, firstly, how did you decide to come up with this? Uh, how did you decide, like, why, why, like, TF? Why not, like, uh, you know, like a Tristana or a Lucian? Um, I, um, I feel yeah. like TF is, like, a champion which you can play on a bad day, you know? It's simple to execute. It's not, like, mechanically intensive, like, something like Irelia, you know? If you have, like, a bad day, obviously, you're gonna, going to eat your ass off, you know? Uh -huh. So basically, I was APTF main at first, right? Yeah, yeah. But then I got stuck in like 600 LP. I was getting desperate, like tilted, you know, I couldn't climb more. So I figured I'm just going to try something really stupid. Like I never believed that it would work, but uh -huh. it, it somehow did, you know? It's kind of funny I that the way that you view it, though, um, just the way you frame that you said you were stuck at like 600 LP challenger, which to me is hilarious. Yeah, yeah I was stuck. It wasn't like, where I wanted to be. I wanted more. Well, that's the thing though. For most <laughs> players, they're going to hear that, right? They're going to hear that and they're going to be like, wait, he was stuck in challenger. So decided to do AD twisted fate. And that's what caused him to get over the hump. Like if you think about it, it yeah. sounds pretty silly, right? Mm, maybe I'm a very ambitious person. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. I would think I would think that for most people, they wouldn't like when you say stuck. What do you remember? Like what you would classify as stuck back then for you? Mm, I don't know. I just couldn't get above the six hundred LP, even though I had like really high win rates. But I felt like I just couldn't like make it higher. But it seems like such a bizarre like transition to go to <laughs> ad twisted fate did you get any inspiration or was it just all you no 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 it was just like um i don't know <laughs> i don't know i honestly don't know but i'm very glad that it happened what was the first thing that you built i think um i'm not sure about the keystone it was probably pta um corrupting pot then i went for the trinity uh-huh 
Um, I think the second item was uh, Nashor's Tooth, which was probably a mistake. And then I like, then I felt like, what the fuck? I can actually like carry games with this shit. Like, <laughs> like I instantly popped off. I was like, what the hell, man? And then I started like actually consciously developing the idea further. Yeah, one of the things that um <clears throat> that you seem to really like to do is you have very very interesting, and you're even doing it in this game here. You have very, very interesting views on just, like, starter items. Um, obviously, we're talking about old AD Twisted Fate, but what about, yeah. like, the current AD Twisted Fate? I think, um, um how, how should I, like, um... Hold on, let's, let's do it, let's like, do it like this. Build, let's let's do it like this. Style. Can you see, uh... So, <clears throat> like, when we look through these builds, like, this is actually a pretty good way to uh, get people acclimated to what's going on here. You build a lot of weird-ass shit. <laughs> and it's something that uh, that's true yeah yeah you uh, someone asked me last night i was doing um i was like answering boot camper questions last night late and mm -hmm. someone was playing kale and they're, they were asking about itemization and i was like i don't really think there's that much itemization for kale right <clears throat> and then i, oh, I was I trying to think of make some. <laughs> oh yeah i bet you could yeah i bet <laughs> you could but my point is that for most champions i don't think that they can do all this crazy itemization stuff like you're kind of like a wizard with this stuff like if i look through right like if i just go line by line let's see this game you have a refillable you have a dark seal it looks like you played for leandres yeah. and then cosmic and yeah. then this game there's you know, a rapid fire. It looks like you're actually leaning more towards the Andrews and Cosmic right now a lot too. Yeah, I mean, it's the core. When I'm forced to go AP, I just go for the max CDR build. I have like uh, 120 ability haste at two items. Mm. My ult is at like a 50 second cooldown. I could just perma TP somewhere. But then you'll have games like this where you'll elect to do like an Omni. I mean, look at this. This is... This is overgrowth <laughs> conditioning time. I mean, if you if you compare this to like uh because there's obviously lots of comparisons with you and the the Korean phenom himself. For obvious reasons though, because you guys both kind of do very, very different things. So cool. Dopa is P and Dopa? Yeah. Oh, I, I was thinking like uh the guy who was playing like uh, clept on top, like uh I don't even remember the name. I mean, Unlike this. This to me is. What's up with Dopa? Yeah, this to me is just always very, very interesting. How far away you two are from each other in terms of itemization. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if you look at him, like even now, he's leaned more on like Everfrost. Like he really likes Everfrost, and he seems to. He actually doesn't go too far off of his itemization. I'm sure you've probably studied him too, or no? Mm, not really. Really? I think. Um... Yeah, yeah, when I made, um, I mean, I started uh, playing League on East. You probably know this, but everybody, dude, what's with all my guests? What's with all yeah, you guys yeah. starting on East for? Was it just because of ping or think, what was it? I think it was like, um, you weren't forced, but like, um, when you signed up your account, the site was on like East and then you like, didn't think much of it. You just went uh, to play on East, you know? Oh, so then later you had that like realization, yeah, like, when I oh real shit. Realized yeah. the server is shit. I just switched. <laughs> Okay, so what I was saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, are you familiar with the climb I did on East with like super high win rates on and KDS on Oriano? Do you, do you remember that? No, 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 no. Do you have like a is that was are you talking yeah. back in the day like way back? Yeah, you can like uh, I think you can find mid with video about it. You just uh... Google Exira. Yeah. So, <clears throat> anyways. One of the things I uh, wanted to talk to you about is how strong you find these current AD items so much so that you're actually, you're building Gale Force a lot now, <clears throat> which yeah, is yeah. very strange. Cause... We can we can go deeper into the build maybe later. Uh, sure. I really want to talk about the thing we were talking like the, what, the thing, thing and all that. Oh, the yeah, East. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, yeah, basically. Um, if you even look at the first second of the video, you can probably see like, what I was doing on East. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This was, when was this? What season do you remember? Oh, I guess I can figure that out. Uh, 2017. Yeah, I mean, people think you're a one trick a bit too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we can talk about that also <clears throat> later. 
but like the like after this i realized the server is shit like you can see like how hard <laughs> i stomped it <laughs> it's just like so smurf yeah yeah that's like I mean... not just like master that's like <laughs> It just looks so smart. Were you playing One solo too? K. Yeah, it was all solo. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, after this I switched to West. <clears throat> and basically Dopa was sort of inspiration to um go for this kind of um play style, you know, not do mistakes, you know, play your own game. Mm. Like initially I thought that it was impossible on like um decent server you know yeah so i wasn't even considering it and yeah then i made the switch to west i sort of did similar thing on west as well these uh... <laughs> this is kind of this is kind of ridiculous though and I, I would say i don't think i ever i guess the game's probably changed a lot since then it'd be yeah definitely. it'd probably like... be a, a lot harder to maintain these types of results when it, i like, mean KDAs. i think it's I think it's impossible to be honest. What With do you think changed so hard? What do you think changed so hard to make it so? Because I never see people do this anymore. Why do you think that is? Mm, one, I think they weren't simply capable of. Mm. Uh, maybe they weren't aiming for it. Like, who could like think to themselves, "Okay, I'm gonna be doing this like now." <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem like it's sustainable though. Like, no, you no, must no, have no. just been way ahead of the curve. I mean, to be honest. Um, it was just East being really bad. It, that's <laughs> just all, all there is. It's because now, like, if we go into... Let's see. Let's find your account real quick. Uh, the one that you're playing on. It's JBS, isn't it? It's yeah. JBS. So, like, if I... <clears throat> if I pull you up on this now... It's like... Now your KDAs actually look like normal human KDAs again. Yeah, um, and I think the I think the or, skill or gap player as well. Yeah, I think the skill gap is closed a bit yeah. though. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. Like 2017, that's what I was trying to credit you for. Was like I'm pretty sure you were just ahead of the curve too. Like you just understood the game a bit more uh, than other people. I, I feel like I was one of the first players who realized how strong Oriana was at the time. Really? Like, she had no counters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. To be honest, I think Dopa also like switched to Oriana after like that one when he realized as well that Oriana was like one of the best uh, like um, Slicky champions at the time at least. I don't like Oriana <sighs> at all anymore. He still plays it too, which yeah. is kind of weird. Um, he loves it. I mean, he's been doing it yeah. for the past couple seasons. He still loves. It almost feels like he plays Twisted Fate now as a tertiary pick for him. Yeah, I mean, he. I think he said in an interview that. He didn't find much success with TF, so he like um had it as secondary pick. Do you think that's because he hasn't tried uh like this this AD style as much? No, no, no. I mean, he tried it. He probably didn't like it, and I wouldn't play it l right now if I was him. But um, I think his view of the game is like uh, I'm not gonna be baited by my team's mistakes. I'm not gonna like um, commit to a, like flippy place. Oh, you mean just the, the way that he that he views the game is just very yeah, like yeah. While, systematic. While I'm like willing to like uh, literally trade my life just to get my jungler ahead or something like that. Like I'm willing to take the risk. In my opinion, it's like the season eleven way of playing like TF. You're like basically support. You die for the team. You die for your carries. Mm. Yeah, when I compare, like, this is one thing that Dope has always done, even on, like, the Korea servers. He always keeps his deaths just, like, ridiculously yeah. low. Like, even versus, like, the best players, he always does this. Yeah. And that's super tough. It's super patient. I mean, your play style has yeah. always been a little bit more exciting. And I and I personally, that was why I, I started doing it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, <laughs> however many seasons ago when I started doing AD Twisted Fate more. is because it just feels like... First off, I'm gonna be honest. The shit just feels harder to me. Um, yeah, it feels tougher to pull it's, off. It's supposed to be. I mean, if APTF was as easy, everyone. I mean, if APTF was as easy to play as AP, everyone might play it. You know. Yeah, I feel like most TF players don't have the mechanics to pull off the AD style. Uh, as I much. mean, to be honest, I don't think it was that great in season ten. It was. Should I tell you the story behind the hybrid TF? Sure. 
do you want to hear it okay so yeah yeah, yeah my yeah. original original plan was to create a build uh -huh. in which you could choose between going ad or ap depending on how the game is shaping up in the first 10 to 20 minutes but in the end i felt like the ab version was too slow and like um it just st stuck as hybrid you know yeah but I don't it remember, wasn't. but I, I remember you didn't really like, I we talked sometime in the middle of last year, we talked on Twitter and you were yeah. just like, game's doomed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, probably, probably. But you did eventually, you started uh, emulating somebody. Who, do you remember who it was? It was the guy that was doing like electrocute every game. You were calling it like cheese. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. I mean, obviously I think, um, it was very impressive. Like uh -huh. he came up with this um, heavy roaming APTF style, like uh -huh. Crossman. If somebody doesn't know him, um, you were like, because I remember. I, I tried back it a here. bit. I tried it a bit. You did. You hyped it. You're like, you're like, this is the real cheese or whatever he said I on mean, Twitter. I, <laughs> like, I there it to, is. <laughs> I'm not delusional. If somebody's climbing with it. It has to be good. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't mean to say that you were insulting the guy. I just remember no, no, no. I was tracking him. I was tracking him because it was a it was a Swifties rush, wasn't it? That's what it was. The guy was yeah. just rush, rushing Swifties and just going ignite electrocute every single fucking matchup he was doing. Yeah, it. yeah. And then <laughs> it was like it was like oh I guess ADTF is kind of taking a back seat. But why do you think ADTF is actually okay now? Mainly. The changes to Witsend. Witsend was always like the power item of the build. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I do remember that. That's right. Yeah. Like, you can basically match any AP champion since they can't like one shot you. You deal so much damage. Like, um, they just can deal with you, you know, until mm -hmm. they have void stuff, which they buy only at like third or fourth item. That's yeah, like and in their... solo queue, that's pretty, that's a long fucking time. Yeah, yeah. The game's queue. over at like 20, 50 minutes. Probably even earlier. <laughs> yeah, especially uh, so, in high elo. So yeah, uh, the problem with Witsen used to be that um, the on-hit damage um, scaled differently. Basically, it was uh, the range was from 15 to 80, but it was still at like 18 when mm. you were like at level 8. That's like terrible. So you could never like rush it, right? Yeah. Now it it got changed. It has like 30 AD more it scales evenly so basically like um, 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 um at level eight you have 40 on hit damage that's basically 50 damage more and then it's like still the same ap counter item like mages just, just can't deal with you when you have it and now you can actually like rush it basically what i do is i build noon quiver into witsend and then i go rapid fire since i have so much damage already all i need is to get the stun in you know and then i like kill anyone and I get the AD Mythic third, since like AD Mythics are <laughs> pretty broken at the moment. Like I really enjoy Gale Force. Yeah, I've been doing my <clears throat> my uh, Trinomir mid stuff, and I keep trying to make Gore Drinker work, but it just feels so bad in comparison to the to the AD yeah. Mythics. Like you said, it's like yeah. I'm not getting enough value out of it, even though I should be. It's just it doesn't feel very good, and I think the reason that that is is just because like. Obviously, Riot's never going to make Gore Drinker that good again after the uh, Olaf fiasco and the Renekton fiasco of early season. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like the item is just, you know, really obnoxious to play against. Yeah, it's a pretty badly designed item. I'm not going to lie. Um, it yeah. just doesn't, it doesn't, it, it's not fun to face. It's not fun to play against. Um, it's probably not even fun to play it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a little, it's a little janky to play as to. It doesn't feel good to use it either. It feels a yeah. lot worse than um, Ravenous Hydra used to feel as well. Like, yeah. those actives actually felt good to use, but Cordrick just feels fucking clunky. I don't know. One thing yeah. that I wanted to talk to you about in particular, and not specific, I mean, we can go into more TF specific stuff in a bit. Yeah, yeah, obviously. <laughs> but, I wanted to talk to you about uh, teaching others because one thing that I've noticed about you and watching you play is that your farm is fucking ridiculous um, in the sense that like if I were to pull a random game out of you, your farm is always fucking good or very, very close to always good. 
is there some sort of mindset like yeah some of these games you don't go crazy but like a lot of um, them you get farm that like i feel like i never get this on tf like i feel like i never have games yeah, where i farm um, this well on tf do you see what i'm saying like you have really high yeah. highs in regards to to csing with tf that i don't think most players can even reach and the thing about tf and i just want to fill everybody in if you farm well on this champion you get the passive as well so it's like it, he's almost like a, a double skill check on farming in the sense that if we can't if we can farm well this champion ramps up in terms of the value that we can get out of him so what do you uh, think that you're doing that's like do you know what i mean like how are you going like how are you do you have like a mindset do you have like a uh anything in your think, head when you're playing think, this okay. game yeah my landing skills got badly damaged um because of the klepto style like i would just you know prefer trades over farm you know mm -hmm. so it took me a while to get out of that mindset but now like when i watched some other like high low players like uh, play on stream they don't go for like those um, um crazy trades early on sometimes they just you know farm up to their spikes and then they like pop off basically i started doing that like um I play, play the wave, waves correctly uh -huh. and like I make sure that I don't get ganked and like um, once I have my items like um, I'm free to do whatever I want I can farm more <laughs> I can uh, get camps like with noon qu quiver it's so easy to farm camps and all that shit yeah because I because um, I've been watching um, I, I've obviously played a lot of TF and like if my farm mm -hmm. is high normally with TF it's almost like I have to make a very focused effort in order to get my CS that high. Do you know what I mean? It's like a very like, it's yeah, like you like, have to go into the game like I'm going to farm well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because started, like, yeah. I started focusing a lot on like farm over like trades. When I started playing again, like I had a four months break. Mm -hmm. I started playing league again, like um, like grinding 10 days ago. Basically I'm almost 100 LP off challenger right now. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about it. The LP gains are shit. I think I could have been like challenger in a week if it was like a with a normal. Oh yeah, the ladder. Or... The ladder is broken. I mean, really. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's all it is though. And uh, who the fuck was I talking to? Oh, Rangers. He said something along the lines of like, you know, I feel like I could push for rank one, but not until this. Uh... Wait, what did what did you just do here? Hold on a second. <laughs> I'm trying to. Oh yeah, I was counting the the area with my predator do you actually Basically. just taught me something here i did not know that that was a fucking thing yeah yeah you can literally see if there's somebody around i think the range is um three thousand units i'm not sure something so like if that. you're wa if you're running fast here you know he's in the bush yeah he's either in that or the next one he's not gonna oh, be here. in the third one that's too far i think so it's like here dude you just taught me i actually have never seen it used that way and that's hilarious yeah yeah, that never that never occurred to me that you could do that. Yeah. And you're so and you're so aware of it too back here. Um you very clearly are like, I think he could be in the bush. Like I could see you do it. Not you yet. Back down. Yeah, you back down okay. and then you yeah. I think I go for a ward or something. Okay, I pop I always pop it when I whenever I get it since um it's not worth to hold it. Yeah. Hold on it anymore. Yeah, it's cool though, because it'll tell you that he's basically yeah, yeah, he's here. There. here. Yeah, I basically see him. He's probably thinking that I don't see him, but nah, man, I do see you. Yeah, you. Yeah. It's kind of funny how you stand and like throw the card yeah, yeah. sideways. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this guy's probably like, "What the fuck is going on?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would have confused. It would have confused the hell I'm, out of me just look if at you do that. How yeah. hard I beat him up with the uh, Whitsand. That's like the power of Whitsand. I think I kill him even here. Yeah, you do. Yeah, 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 bro. Yeah, um, I get ganged by like four people, but I'm I'm still proud that I killed Jax. <laughs> yeah, that's something to be proud of, isn't it? It's like, yeah, yeah. I killed Jax as TF. That is really hard to do. But yeah, I mean, yeah, that I mean, right there is a good argument for it. That was basically probably the first time I solo killed a Jax with a TF. And he had he had Blade of the Rune King. This is um, yeah, this is pretty lit. I'm gonna I'm definitely. By the way, this is like. This. This is like um high grandmaster game. Oh, I know, I know. This that's is why, not that's like why I'm showing you. Yeah, this isn't you playing fucking. Smurf game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're not playing against scrubs. You're actually playing against people that know how the game. Like, really humans. know. Yeah, yeah, they know how the game works. Let's do this just for YouTube. All right, what's your standard AD uh, TF build? 
right now. Like, just no um, fucking, no fucking uh, uh, versatility on path, right? Just give yeah, us like okay. a fucking, yeah. Non quiver into wits and into rapid fire into gale force. That's basically what I'm running. Noon quiver Not into uh, wits, end. wits end into rapid fire into gale force. Gale force would yeah. be the mythic finished on third item, and that's then just I like go... your standard. Yeah. Then yeah. then I have the on hit versus pure crit um, diversity in the build. What what dictates which order? Um. <laughs> Sneezing. For <laughs> for on hit, I really um, enjoy going um, like um, I usually go. Okay, it it it's going to get very complex. But, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's just keep it. Let's keep it simple then. Rage blade and uh, Bork. Rage and blade because Bork. I have. Yeah. Because I have Gale Force, I can sell my boots for like Lord Dominic's or you know. So you could just like six item later if you want. Yeah. 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 And when are you doing when are you doing on hit? Is that just like a bunch of tanks? Bunch of like healthier champs? Is that I when think you're on hit is um it has more damage in my opinion. It has like a nice mix with wits and and those double procs and um um you can fit more defensive items into the build. Since mm -hmm. with crit you, you, you really want to get those crit items stacked up, you know? Mm -hmm. To deal dish out tons of damage. But with on hit, you can just throw in a GA and deal still like tons of damage. Yeah, I uh, <clears throat> the the reason I asked is because people are naturally just gonna wonder like, what do I build? Like, if I want to play the style, what do I build? And the reason that I brought this all up is because we could go deep into the weeds on like builds and an order. Yeah, because yeah. if I look through your match history, but in lower elo, all they really got to do is like farm well, get a noon quiver, yeah. get a wits end. Fin yeah. You know, finish off uh, rapid fire their mythic, and then they just stomp the map. But they can do that with fundamentals more than mm -hmm. like itemization choices. <clears throat> yeah, in low level, definitely like the gameplay matters hundred times more than. Uh, I like how you phrase that. How, yeah. How are you uh, itemized in a yeah. specific game? So Lotharis, there's been a couple people. Lotharis was one of them. And he's of the belief, and somebody else said something similar too. I forget who it was, but he's of the belief that like he would rather keep his rune page and his build almost the same every game. Because his argument is he would rather know the exact amount of damage that he can take and deal in any given game than have that like momentary lapse of like understanding. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like muscle memory understanding. Yeah. 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 Um, hmm. or do you think that he's that it's just like do you think it's just like a preference thing because for me i feel I think like if you're if yeah. you're mentally capable of like uh, adapting to change just go for it if you can't then stick to one thing yeah because i feel like it's optimal too like i feel like the way you do it is is correct in terms like for of me like, it's yeah. so natural so natural uh, others are like so confused what the fuck are you doing man like why this why that why that like <laughs> i i just know that okay i have to do this it's the best it's yeah. going to give me the best results it's just yeah, so natural it, and i love it <laughs> yeah there's such a it's it's not as easy as it sounds either like if i if i go into a game and i have to play ap style like ap style does a lot of different things like it's more of we just give and we just wave clear and we just kind of turtle and we don't really loosen up that much. Whereas yeah. with, with AD, there's more of like we step into plays more often, like you were doing up here in top lane versus the jacks or whatever. Yeah. You're like stepping into trades more. With AP, it would just be like, well, I'll just back up and I'll just throw my kill. Yeah, yeah. And... <laughs> that is that is so, such a boring and dull play style. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I do, I do. Cause you remember when when I first found you and I was doing I was on stream doing the the build as well and I was like man this style is just so much more fun because yeah, it's yeah. like you know Dopa's style is great if if we because Dopa's is weird because it's like he plays the game like he's a fucking supercomputer he just like yeah he just he's like an AI like he just comes in yeah. and plays pretty pretty flawless and does it day in and day out and day in I, and day I tried, out like I've been on like both ends on those like play styles you know i really hate the methodical um oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. No not rip, very not, yeah don't do anything just scale you know i i just hate it i started to hate it like i did it 
I made pretty good, like, um, how to say, <laughs> reputation for it, at mm -hmm. least when I played on East. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, now, yeah. Now I'm the complete opposite. Like, I made, like, how much can player, like, realistically change? Yeah, and yeah. Play style was, I, I, like, did, the, I think, the biggest <laughs> change of them it, all. Yeah, this is, this is something that is, uh, <laughs> just watching this goofy shit is great. It just looks so much more fun, right? Like, yeah. it's just the way that it winds up playing out. And I mean, this is like you said, this is the AD example. And this is the type of stuff that you get to do when you do AD style more. Yeah. Is you actually I, get can, I can match basically any role in the game. ADCs, top laners, junglers. Ob obviously, there are cons. Like, obviously, if you fall behind it, like, you're not going to have even that wave clear, which you would yeah, have. On... Yeah, yeah, it's but definitely I, I really love the that. high risk, right? I really love the challenge to like um, always perform super well, like even like um, how to say, um, how to put. What do you mean, like high elo? The mechanical aspect. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You definitely put a lot of weight on yourself playing the style too, because it it comes down to like you were saying, like how well do you farm, um, how well do you kite? One misstep really kills TF as a champion too, like. Yeah, yeah. When you're that playing is... AD, you have to get a auto attack range and you're almost like I a mean... vein, you know? What mages, what are, not mages, what mid lane uh, champions would you pick? Like, if you weren't playing what you play, right? What mm -hmm. champions would you recommend for newer players to play in mid in this meta? I just go with Oriana TF. Like, they are decent utility for mages. For noobs! Yeah, yeah, they are for noobs. Like, really? TF is... APTF is one of the easiest champions in the game. You think he's easy? Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, realistically, what are you doing in the game? You are you, like, I don't to think you understand. Online. I don't think you're funny. I don't think you understand how naturally talented you are and how much time you've spent playing that you think fucking Joe Bob, Joe Bob could fucking hop onto TF and start playing that shit. Yeah, Instead 100%. of like, no fucking way. It'd be like, it'd be like, uh, what's it? He's got to play. In my opinion, he's got to play like, I always tell them to play Nocturne, Garen, fucking uh, Talon. Maybe not even Talon so much. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not I even Talon, Talon so much, but yeah, it's okay. Um, But just for the reason mm. that it's like, you know what I mean? It's like easier to manage the wave and easier to I like. I mean, what would be easier than that? Can you name the champion? Easier what, than Talon? Orion or TF. Oh, or Talon. Uh, you can't. I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to think of like something that would be good. I, I always think about like Galio, but Galio, he doesn't carry for shit. Like he just... I, I haven't. I mean, I think there is some high log Galio main on E West. I'm not sure, but it doesn't seem to uh, uh, perform well, you know? Yeah, he he needs a he needs a teammate to actually. Obviously, pull him in off. high low with players who know what they're doing, obviously it's gonna work a lot better. <laughs> but definitely not a low low elo pick, hundred percent no. So yeah, basically, champions that can like uh, get mid priority, like ADC mids, for example, mm -hmm. Lucian Tristana, or champions that shove really fast. Or can like roam really? Oh yeah, I forget about easily. Tristana. I forget about Tristana as like an easy pick for mid right now. Yeah, that yeah. definitely. Easy. I mean, it might get a bit um, difficult in late game when you like need to rely on your mechanics to carry the game or whatever. But yeah, basically champions that can like push really fast, or roam, like constantly. I think um, Kiana Talon are like the two. Only viable assassins right now. Mm -hmm. What I about Zed? I don't like Zed. Like you know Zed 99, of of course you know. Mm -hmm. He he used to be like a top 10 on Korea. Mm -hmm. And now I think, actually I'm not sure. Actually I'm not sure what his elo. You can like probably check it. Let me but see. But I'm pretty I'll sure he's not like one KLP like 100. Uh, percent Let's see. He's Grandmaster right now. Uh, he's not having great results, but... Would you say that's because, um, he just got worse? Or would you say that Zed is, like, oh, a lot I see. worse in this meta? But it, it just seems like he sh Zed shouldn't be that bad. Oh, I think it's bad. Like, um, huh. um, once you get to that level where, like, um, 
how fast you can shove, how f how good your lane is, like level one, two, and three. It, it all in influences the outcome very yeah. significantly. Like, do you think this guy deserves to be like in five hundred LP Grandmaster or not? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I I I don't. Follow this guy's him. really fucking clean. This guy's really fucking good on set. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, then in that case, no, if that's your opinion. But my thing, my thing was, I just figured, okay, here's my logic, and then we could get to, like, yeah, there's obviously more to itemization, and there's more to the game than just this, but, like, my logic was, all AP mids are pretty trash. Yep. Uh, any champion, any champion that can side lane in a solo queue environment automatically has an extra tool in their arsenal to, to fucking influence the yeah. game right and then obviously yeah. the seekers nerf like all those things combined and then the everfrost nerf all those things combined would tell me that like if zed shows up he's gonna do okay it, like the people that actually know how to play oh, okay. zed we can talk about like um, high low specific or like low low specific i think zed is really good in low low where people don't understand how to play the waves don't mm -hmm. understand like how the game goes like they don't like Consciously think, oh, oh, Zed is looking to kill me right now. Yeah. And, uh, but in high low, it's definitely not not viable. Yeah, because I guess it's just like you said, it comes down to shove, doesn't it? How fast he can shove the lane. How fast you can shove and roam. <laughs> yeah, he can't keep up. He can't keep up with. Yeah, I'm trying to think of all the matchups that he has to bump into, and he's got to he's got to deal with Galio. He can't really do that matchup. He's got to deal with Talon. I feel like that matchup's actually Talon favored. Yeah, definitely. Like Talon, I think Talon is really strong with the uh, Miramana build and uh, the roaming power overall of Talon. The only like, matchups just... that Zed beats, yeah, I guess Zed is in the middle tier of the champions that we want to pick mid. Mm -hmm. He can't it's... be. He can't be Lucian. You can play. He can't you can be... definitely yeah, play. Yeah, by yeah. the way. Yeah. It, but it's not like high, high level viable in my opinion. Yeah, you can't play into Trist. You can't play into Lucian. Um, you can't play, like I, think, I said, into Galio. I think Kiana is also like a, a lot better AD assassin. Yeah, you like, can't you be. Have, you what, can't you be have, Kiana. Like, AOE stun. You have three like invisibilities or whatever. You have dashes. You have everything like at your disposal. But in that case, though, it could just be that Zed's kit is just outdated, and until they give him something that's um, I, I never thought I would say that. I never thought I would say that. But until they give him something that makes him comparable to like lane. I, I really like Zeta's design. I think it just comes down to what's meta and what's not. And in, when mid lane is weak, this kind of um, oh set type of mid laners don't really. Has mid ever really been reach. strong? Yeah, in I the feel past, like, yeah. like um, no, like in the past couple of years, two or three years. I don't... Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, Do you think so? I think it used to be, for a very long time, the maybe not the strongest role, but at least like the second strongest after like jungle. You know. What do you think is the strongest role right now? Right now? I guess for Hailu, I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say support and jungle, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, I was, I was kind of walking you know? into that like, one. Yeah. Like, think about it like this: jungle got super hard nerfed with the XP and gold thingies. Yeah. And it's still like, basically in high low. You throw uh, nine jungle bands and bard. That's like the <laughs> meta right now. I swear. <laughs> that is how the game works. Nine jungle bands and bard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you guys do your bands? Yes. Okay, good job, guys. Now we can play. Now I mean, can play what, what, else, what else would you ban? Yeah, yeah, I see your point. Like, you really... There's no lane dominance in mid really anymore. Everybody knows how to like not die in mid like a fucking yeah, yeah. moron. I mean, that is also like more high law specific. I mean, obviously in low, low loss you can go for like solo kills, even as support, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Just go for it, man. <laughs> but um, yeah, in terms of high law, it's just uh, mid is basically like second support for your jungler and your team overall. What a sad life. Um, what a sad existence, dude. What a sad life we lead. 
it, it's probably sad who play mid like as a pro like they have to constantly adapt i don't think many mid laners enjoy playing this kind of supportive style it used to be like the you know star role where mm. you pop off and everyone is like holy shit this guy's beast yeah <laughs> now <laughs> yeah now it's like a fucking yeah now it's a bit of a slave role yeah yeah I feel like every time I play mid, my job becomes more about managing waves and not dying than actually doing anything. Yeah, I mean, right? do, you, do you realistically go into the game as a mid laner with the intention to like, oh, I'm gonna fucking kill this uh, and a mid laner like 10 times? No. Yeah, no. I do that in top. I mean, it, it happens on certain like matchups, but that's like very, very specific. Like if you play against player who knows how to play around it you're just not going to kill him like ever yeah that Unless and then the like jungler disconnects. the jungler can exploit it too <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah i mean yeah, yeah like wave management you need to like put so much effort into like um even setting up a, like a, a, a wave state where you can actually gank the enemy mid laner i can like maybe show a bit later like let me show you something basic yeah, let me show you a scenario. The wave management thing is. So let me let me show you a, a let me show you my summary of mid lane in the game that I had before before I fucking took a break. Mm -hmm. Now w watch. So I get I I believe that mid is more about wave management than it's probably ever been, and it, it feels like you're almost yeah. I mean, you're not. It's like what... you're almost not even incentivized to kill people. Like watch this yeah, stupid exactly. shit. I, I literally kill a guy level one and I fuck the game up because I mismanage the play after I get... Like, you would think, oh, it's a first blood. Awesome. Yeah, you get punished for a winning line. <laughs> yeah, just watch. watch. I, I got confused. I actually I actually had to, like, reassess the, the decision to back because I was like, okay, uh, I, get, I get a solo kill on a Silas or something. Yeah, and then he, like, TPs. Oh, he doesn't have TP, but, like, yeah, just does watch trees or something. Just watch. Okay. So we go, we fight. Okay. I get the kill. Okay. And then in my brain, I'm like, okay, I'm just going to shove the wave. Okay. And then I'm going to back. But then, like, I actually feel like I, I lose more because I backed. Um... It, do you see what I'm saying? Like, it feels I, like... The wave is pushing towards you, that's good. But as Nocturne, you probably just can't freeze it. Just, you know, uh, shove uh, it's any like wave when because I, of how your passive works. Yeah, but it's like one of those things where I look at it and I'm like, it was it even optimal for me to fucking back? <laughs> to be honest, that didn't even look like terrible. I think it was okay. But by the way, if if Silas had TP, you would have been like yeah, so I would have been trolling. I would have been trolling. Yeah, I would have been. Yeah, yeah, I actually exactly. would have just auto. Here, here it isn't. It, it isn't Basically, that bad. Yeah, it isn't that bad. You get rewarded for him being like a newbie, you know. Yeah, it's like you're probably smurfing as well or something. I'm playing. This is like Diamond Two or Diamond One or something. So smurfing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. It's this. When I look at it, I'm kind of like. I feel like I didn't really get that. I, I feel like I didn't really get anywhere other than, yeah, I got the goal onto the map or whatever, but it's like, it just doesn't feel that great. It doesn't feel like getting a first one I mean, actually gets me. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say other than just like, it feels like if you kill somebody and you crash a wave, it should hurt. But in mid, if you yeah. go for that early, there's only like, it's like you nothing really mattered. He he gets to come back into lane. I think I think and slow if push you a big wave champion, into you. Yeah. I think if you had other champion, you could have like abused um this um freezable wave state like uh, so easily. But do you see what I mean? Like here, look. But yeah. Now it's like okay, I can't even though I kill him. Like I can't I can't contest scuttle. I can't. Maybe you gave him too much respect there, like. But I mean, you have to probably respect the. Yeah, because now if I yeah everything. exactly if I if I go into him, it's like yeah. Kindred pops out of a brush and I'm out of lane with like no way to survive yeah, the yeah. It's yeah. fucking weird, dude. That that that's scenario also the reason why me I out. switched from ignite to TP. Like, not always, uh, but uh -huh. like, I know that okay, 
even if I'm going to solo kill him, he's going to TP, he's going to freeze. I need to back up for my jungler to uh, break the freeze, and which he probably won't do since he wants to like just full clear on repeat. <laughs> and then I'm like, fuck, like the game is over basically at that point. Like, I I'll get ganked yeah. since they're freezing the wave and uh, I can't shove it in. Yeah. This, uh, I don't know, man. Mid's, mid's freaking, mid's weird now. I, I don't, I don't like that, like, killing people just feels so bad often because of wave, like, the way that the waves work. It's like, it always just feels like you're trying to kill them. You're really risking more than you're ever gaining. Yeah. Like, it, in top lane, like, in top, this is why I said in top lane, it feels like going for kills feels good. Yeah. Like, if I go oh, and, like, I set a dive up, uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Uh, I hate top lane. I mean, I have to play it since I'm like a TFTF doesn't function on like bot lane. Mm -hmm. Since you want to get that solo XP. Yeah. But yeah, oh my god. Basically, mid is basically the top lane now as well. Like, you know, like um, before you. Um, before mid became what it is, mm -hmm. it used to be like a lot more like, um, uh, how to say, explosive and all that good stuff. Yeah, it's just more it's dynamic. Like, now it's super stagnant. Waves, if you don't do it correctly, you're fucked. All right, dude. All right, all right. All right, man. Have a good Thanks weekend. Thanks for having me. Yes, peace.